When people talk about pressure fermentation, they're into all sorts of different vessels these days, stainless steel, PET. Some people are even doing low pressure transfers and things that aren't pressure fermenters. But using pressure in your brewery is something that you can actually harness and do really well. But it needs to be done safely. So there's a few things to be aware of to make sure that you are safe and that your equipment is safe when you're pressure fermenting or pressure transferring or running anything during a pressure process in your brewery. So that doesn't matter if you're running stainless steel equipment or our line of PET pressure fermenters. When you've got pressure involved, you need to stay focused. So rule number one with pressure fermentation is pretty much rule number one in a lot of commercial breweries as well. You don't go in there and find that all the workers are just sitting there slamming beers and having a great time. It's not a party. You're there to get things done. So rule number one in pressure fermentation, don't be drunk. Just actually do some focusing on the process that you're running. So if you're half cut, you could make some mistakes and not be aware of what you're doing. So just let's be careful with what we're doing in our breweries and be focused on the process. But that leads us to the next thing to be aware of. Step number two to be safe during pressure fermentation is make sure that your equipment is in great operating condition before you start using it. So every time you use it, go over it, make sure that you don't have any damage to the vessel. If you notice any cracks, if you notice anything that was not there the last time you used it, damage from falling, impact stuff, whatever. Just make sure it's safe and have a good look at the equipment before you start using it. So the other thing that you need to do is not store your chemicals inside the pressure fermenter when it's not being used. So if you've got a heavy mix of sanitizer sitting in there or heavy mix of cleaners sitting in your pressure fermenter, you need to make sure that you use them for the processes that they're there for. And then when you're done, move them out, store the fermenters dry double check your regulator. Now, for a lot of us, the regulator, the first time that we ever really see one is maybe when we finally get a home dispense system. So some people haven't had a lot of experience with them and new brewers especially have a tendency to take the bonnet and put it onto the regulator, screw it right down until it's nice and tight, which actually means it's depressing the uh, diaphragm inside that regulator and it is pushing tons of pressure out all of that pressure will be stuck behind this disconnect. So if this is reading up around 60 PSI and we attach that without looking at what the low pressure gauge reads on our regulator, then we could potentially be putting in a lot of gas faster than the pressure relief valve can release it. So if I was to say, take a pressure fermenter lid, there's your gas post, this is wound all the way up. If I put this on here, and it fills up really quickly, the PRV might not have enough reflex time to be able to relieve that pressure. So we at Keg King have made some new changes for the safety in our pressure fermenters that are gonna be implemented throughout 2022. Uh, you'll start to see some of these changes come in. These are already really safe. We just want you to be very aware of the pressure that you're about to put into your pressure fermenter, which sometimes can change between the time, last time that you used your regulator but we're gonna be putting a little extra safety in these because one thing we want you to know is that pressure fermentation is really safe. The processes have to be done soundly and you have to be in a good state of mind to be able to accomplish some of them. So having your wits about you while you do these things and just making sure that things are in working order in your brewery is a really good way to start off. When you're pressure checking any pressure fermenter, stainless steel, PET, whatever, when you're pressure checking, make sure that the tank is filled with liquid because there's a lot more energy in the gas. So the one on the left is filled with beer and basically collapses under its own pressure, whereas the one on the right takes out the camera, much more forceful. So you need to be aware that when you are pressure checking your vessels, make sure that they are filled with liquid to absorb that energy just to help keep you safe. So that's it, there's really nothing too scary about this. We know that people have been using pressure for years. They've been using our fermenters all over the world for years now. And we're now gonna be building in even extra safety features to be able to keep them safe. I hope you found this information helpful and I hope it helps you in your brewery processes and helps you to make the decision to move to pressure because it has fantastic advantages. Thanks for watching Brewers.